All right, everybody. My name is Matthew Gilland, and I was requested to do an interview. So I'm going to call. Hey, what's going on? Hey there. How you doing? Good. How about you? I'm doing all right. So That's I've. Good. <laughs> So I'm told that you have some questions for me. I do, actually. I'm very excited to ask them because I'm really hoping you'll answer them for me. Oh, well, I'll answer them fully and honestly. <laughs> you better. No, no I'm going to lie throughout the whole thing. Oh, that's just me. It just leaves me with more questions. Some questions that are left unanswered. <laughs> <laughs> um, so first one, what got you interested in YouTube? What got me interested in YouTube? Okay, um, well, and I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you a little bit of a story. Okay. Whenever I was in high school, I had a bad habit of acting out and getting in trouble and making a lot of noises, such as um, the goat noise and don't make him six, hello, you know. Kind of okay. And I would like interrupt the class. It was like my favorite one to interrupt was government because he was a drunk and I was narrating in British because he, he said, OK, guys, you need to take notes. So let's talk about the government. And I'm like, and here we go. Mr. Shrebel is talking about the government. <laughs> and it gives me this awkward look and I continue on. And he's like, OK, Matt, are you done? He asked me if I was done. And I respond to him by looking with such great surprise as say no <laughs> so that's what <laughs> and then i would act like i'm having a stroke like he he'd be like so boring i was like oh jeez so and, you were the class disturber <laughs> yes class clown and i was into the office like so many times and i was asked if i was all right, <laughs> if i was all right <laughs> and one of my friends is like dude you need to start YouTubing, because you're just fucking hilarious, man. I'm like, yeah, this is, what is YouTube? So, I, t so I started about nine, nine to ten years ago. Oh, okay, so that answers that question I was about to ask. Oh, shit. <laughs> no, it's all good. Killing two um, birds with one stone. Yeah, two birds, one stone. You are just one effective motherfucker. Yay! <laughs> Um, so what inspires you to write your music? What inspires me to write my music? Well, what inspires me is I want to reach out to people and kind of touch their souls a little bit or mm -hmm. touch their hearts. But... Just touching all the people. Yes, and what inspired <laughs> me the most... You heard of the band called Blink-182, right? Of course. I went and saw them live. Fucking lucky. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite singer, Tom DeLonge, because I, I would observe his behavior and I would observe his music. And I'm like, I always, I've always wanted to do music, but I didn't have the instruments like I did back then. Mm -hmm. So whenever I got my guitar and I started singing since I was uh, 16, 17, took it upon myself hey tom did it he's my idol and I might as well do it myself okay so why is he your idol why is he my idol yeah well it's the way how usually we... people are all like david bowie and you know all the 80s singers <laughs> david bowie david bowie david bowie oh god <laughs> But uh, why is Tom my idol? Well, I was going through like a uh, depressed state as I was a young teenager. Did not know what music I liked because my sisters listened to country for fuck of my life. And one of them listened <laughs> to rap. And I'm like, fuck that. My brother was listening to heavy metal. That's okay, but I need to find my own. Then I, I saw on the computer back then when <laughs> fucking... MSN Messenger was still pretty popular to use. I remember that. No, <laughs> I loved that. My <laughs> best friend. Get home and chat with all the elementary school friends that I had. 
right? Be like the, like the top shit, you know. <laughs> but I I would play I missed you by uh, Blink One Eight Two. I fucking fell in love with that song, and I'm like, who the fuck sings that? I need to find mm-hmm. out. So I looked it up, and it was Tom DeLonge, and I. My friends tell me I kind of sound like him, kind of act like him, kind of look like him in a certain way. Mm-hmm. But, but uh, it was his music that inspired me to be a punk rocker. I've been a punk mm-hmm. rocker since I was 11, to ne- still doing it. I still act like a punk rocker. Sounds good. Right? Um, so you also have an album that you've been working on on your new channel, um, Greetings from California. Yes. Can you tell me what inspired you to write that? Well, um, it was my first time going to California because I've, it was always a dream of mine to see the coast of, uh, Santa Barbara. That's where they shot the film Psych. I fucking love that mo- show, which they're coming out <laughs> with the movie, but, um, San Diego, that's where Tom Tom DeLong lives. But it's the palm trees that I've always wanted to see. I've wanted to see the ocean. And I thought I might sing my experience. And on the way there, once we reach... Uh, I'm spitting words. Unclear words. Words and stuff and words and stuff. Yes, words and stuff and words and stuff. Trust me, saying that, it just clears everything right up. You know what you're saying immediately afterwards. (laughs) Pivots and divots and pivots and divots. There you go. You can do that too. (laughs) Once we reached California, it was my dad's birthday. So that inspired me to uh, sing the song Dear Mom and Dad on that album. And Mm -hmm. uh, once we reached there, it was his birthday. I said, happy birthday, Dad. He goes, hey, thanks, son. How you doing? And I'm like, I'm doing just fine we're gonna go to the beach and i'm gonna soak up that california summer sun (laughs) (laughs) and now you're sitting in a dark room with some fake glittery lights all right (laughs) i'm gonna go back to being albino again oh yeah no that's that's my thing right now too currently got a (laughs) black sheet over the window window (laughs) oh yeah curse the day star Curse the day star. Yeah, I know, right? I, I'd rather look <laughs> at the moon than the sun. Because once I look out, at, once I walk out in the sun, it's like... I know, you get all squinty-eyed, and you start covering your face. and You make the hissing noises of... <laughs> get just get so from. sunburnt, you're literally steaming. <laughs> How do I know that I'm not that real vampire? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Um... So how do you plan to keep up with both YouTube and music at the same time, you know, when you get bigger in the future? Well, that is a very good question. Nobody's asked me that because I've been trying to figure that out myself. But now that you – because I didn't really think about it. I asked myself that, and it's like, uh, I don't want to answer myself. Worry about it later. Yeah, I don't want to answer myself. <laughs> No, yeah. now you just need somebody to ask it for you. <laughs> yeah, right? Because now it's just like, okay, now to think. How am I going to keep up with music and YouTubing? Well, like, I'm going to, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to, like, merge them together as one. Mm-hmm. And go from there. Like, every, like, every so often, like, every two to three months, come out with an album. Either it's a, oh, fuck, I forgot the name of it. Well, it's only five songs. Oh, EP, fuck, there we go. <laughs> it's like every so often come out with an EP album and then like continue on with what I'm doing with YouTube because music and YouTubing are just, I've been passionate about for the longest time. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Hell yeah. <laughs> so, are you planning on mixing some of your music into your gaming videos then, too? Yes, I am. Really? When yeah. will we be expecting that? <laughs> well, to be honest, you're going to be expecting that, like, in about, like, three to four months. 
Oh, I'm very excited for that. Right. Pretty sure I've been following you for about that long too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and here's a, here's a, here's a, a little bit of a scoop and a little bit of a hint of what's coming in the future. Me and my fiance are gonna do like this an album together. You and your fiance. Yeah, and it's gonna come out, and uh, we're gonna be singing in it. I'm gonna be doing the instrument, like I've always been doing. Mm-hmm. So you're gonna be hearing both of our voices in one album. Ooh, I'm actually very excited for that. And it's gonna be called the album is gonna be called "Struck by Love." Struck by love. I'll have to write that down. Are you going to be putting all this on iTunes and stuff as well? Wait, I can put this shit on iTunes? I believe you can. You should be able to, yeah. Balls! <laughs> <laughs> Balls, I did not know I can put that shit on iTunes. I just been I'm up, up not this. exactly sure what the process of that is, but <laughs> there are a lot of creators out there that have a lot of their albums and stuff on iTunes. I... I'm th- yeah, now that you tell me that, now I am going to do that. <laughs> so we will be expecting that soon, then. <laughs> yeah, very soon. Scoon. 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 So, I, yeah. you were talking about how you've been, you know, finding a hard time trying to man- juggle YouTube and music at the same time. And you've also got a fiancé, and you're doing a lot of traveling. How do you manage to find time for everything? Well, I now that you now looking at it from your angle, that sounds like a very stressful thing to do. <laughs> it's like somebody cut off my head and I'm running around. Oh my god! Headless chicken right there. <laughs> <laughs> well, how do I find time for that? I what I what I do is, like, if I'm stuck working on a song and I cannot be like finger one chord on the guitar i'm like fuck this i'm gonna do something else like put it put up my guitar for a little bit and give my fingers time to heal and my mind to process what kind of tone do i want and i would start on youtube like Mm -hmm. games and real life events that i that me and my fiance do and my dog i fucking love that dog but um and then having time to myself, uh, that I find days where I'm like, I don't want to do anything at all. <laughs> Give YouTube like two day break, and because I would run out of ideas, like legitly. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't believe that answered the question. <laughs> oh my god. Can you repeat the question, please? <laughs> how do you manage to find time for everything? You just went on about how even more confusing and <laughs> the struggle is real is. How do I find time for everything? Well, I put things on a schedule, to be honest. Like, like 1 o'clock to 3 o'clock, I do music. Mm-hmm. Because they, they are the, like, no kidding, they are the longest yet most pain in the ass thing to do and especially if you're doing a solo album mm-hmm. and from three o'clock toward the rest of the day till like 12 a.m it's youtube 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 and then from 12 a.m to the rest of the night it's mat, mat time it's mat time mat time <laughs> mat time <laughs> That's fair. You always got to find time for yourself. Right. <laughs> um, can you tell us a little bit more about your dog? What's his name? Achilles. Achilles. Yes. <laughs> well. What's he like? <laughs> He's a fucking goofball. I love that dog to death. He kind of reminds me of myself a little bit. And my my fiance said I corrupt I corrupted him in a. <laughs> in my own way because I'm a goofball. I can turn anybody into a goofball. Like I'm that life of the party. But but he's sweet. He's not aggressive. Mm-hmm. Unless you pose a threat. I mean, he's only one. And he, I I cannot believe I'm 
he's that big for being one. Oh, all dogs are that way too. For their first year, they're always extremely excited. But again, like all dogs, they can pose a threat, but that's only if you're a threat to them first. That is true. Can you tell us a little bit about your private life? Or is that like completely off limits? Oh, I can tell you my private life. Like, what do you need it? Like, can you be a little bit more specific of what you need to know? Like, what's your fiance like? Oh, if that's fi- okay. My fiance is loving. Hold on. <laughs> she, my, she just messaged me. But, uh, she's very loving. I love her to death. She's, she's got a little bit of, like everybody else does. She has demons. Mm-hmm. I, I do too. And, uh, I love her so much because she doesn't tell me what to do. She gives me my freedom to do what I want, when I want, and how I want. Just as long as I'm fair to her. And that's mm-hmm. how a relationship should be. That's lovely. <laughs> do you need to know more? Um, Only if you're willing to share. Oh, yeah, I'm willing to share. Um, um, where are you residing right now? Parsons, Kansas. Kansas. Holy shit, that's far. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Just that. <laughs> Holy shit, that's fucking far. <laughs> Immediate agreement. <laughs> I'm in the heartland of the United States of America. 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 <laughs> we live off diabetes and cheeseburgers. <laughs> Hand me that beer and let me fly off on my eagle. Diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> if you go up down south to where there's dangerous states, you got drugs. Lots and lots of drugs. And then there's Texas. <laughs> then there's Texas. And then you got <laughs> Arnold. My name is Arnold. Down in California. I don't think California's that far. California's a bit closer to Canada. Hey, now. Are you looking up a map right now? Yes, I am. (laughs) I am looking at the geography. I'm looking at a giraffe. I mean, graph. (laughs) Giraffe. I'm imagining that's what you're Googling right now. Giraffe. <laughs> a big and then wondering why you can't find Kansas on its back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, is there anything else you wanted to end this off on? Because I'm pretty sure you can't have too long of a video oh, yeah, anywhere without them charging you. Really? Yeah, I can. Oh, sweet. Um, well, shit, I'm out of questions. <laughs> okay, let me, let me, uh, my turn to ask you some questions. Oh, you're interviewing me now? Yeah, because w- once, okay, I don't know if you count yourself as a fan or a subscriber or a follower or, what do you, ca- what do you count yourself as? I would consider myself a follower. I follow all your social media and stuff, but I have a really hard time keeping up with your videos just because <laughs> of your daily life and stuff. Daily life and the job. Daily life. Daily life <laughs> is just a fucking drag. <laughs> but as a follower, and I'll do this to my fans, I'll do this to followers, subscribers, close ones, I'll get to know them. Because mm-hmm. uh, it's, it's fair. Because... Most YouTubers don't think about it. And they're like, oh, yeah, you got done interviewing me. Oh, yes. <laughs> don't ask. Oh, their... Okay. Yeah. I always, I look at people as a person. So my question is, what? Shit. I had it. And now it's I gone. I don't really prefer shit. But, I mean, if that's all you have to offer, I'm okay with that. I'm willing to accept it. Oh, my God. Maybe I do. Hold on. Let me go get the door. She probably locked (laughs) herself out. One second.
Never mind. So I do have a question. What is it? Are you recording in the closet? Yes, I am. <laughs> I, I just came out of the closet, everybody! <laughs> Careful with that. I'm pretty sure some people will start snipping that out and then making gifts of it. <laughs> be like, oh my You'll be the next big meme. <laughs> hey, now. Calm yourself on that. <laughs> but, uh, I was... Like, one of the questions is... <laughs> What got you and your sister into liking my videos? Because I thought, whenever I shown you guys my music, I thought, oh god, they're not gonna like it. And then my games, I'm like, ah, yep, they're not gonna like that either. And then my real life is like, well, probably like that here and there. <laughs> well, what got me interested in your videos was honestly the games at first. You have a very unique sense of humor that I actually connect with a lot. Mostly because it's dark and brooding like my own. <laughs> there is no filter on it either. <laughs> which I honestly like a lot. A lot of people on YouTube here tend to be very pandering towards the younger community. And, you know, the internet's not made specifically for just them. So. Right. And it's not fair to baby-proof everything. I totally agree with that, because I would always say, shit, fuck, fuck, fucking shit, ah, shit, fuck. Fuck, I'm not allowed to swear, shit, I just said fuck, fuck, I just said shit, and it's just a vicious cycle. <laughs> Holy fuckity fuck, oh, butt sucking, fuck, not. <laughs> butt sucking. <laughs> Your sister's gonna be jealous. Oh, maybe it's her turn next. Yeah, as soon as you ever like, I just interviewed Matt, or as you two call me, Uncle Matt. She's gonna be like, Oh my God! <laughs> it's my turn, <laughs> Uncle Matt. It's my turn. She is. <laughs> it's nothing bad. She is out there. I love that. Now, I love how people can be out there. Like she is one of them. Because I toy with her, and then I toy with you, and then out of both of you. You're like, on, whenever you're online, you're like the mellow one. And then she's like, oh my fucking god, I'm gonna be everywhere. Oh yeah, no, she's definitely like that. <laughs> I'm more of the, I'll say absolutely disgusting rude comments to you under my breath, and you'll never notice. <laughs> this motherfucker right here, god damn, he fucking smells. <laughs> what? <laughs> I didn't say nothing. Nothing, I said you're lovely. What deodorant are you using? I was honestly about to assume. <laughs> and then what cologne I use? Agua de Geo by Giorgio Armani. Oh, okay, what's your shampoo? My How shampoo. long are your showers? <laughs> okay, let's start with that. The, the <laughs> shampoo. I don't use shampoo. I use conditioner because shampoo fucks with my hair. I hate that. It's like... Why well, maybe you're just so using too much. What? Maybe you're just using too much. Maybe you're using too much. <laughs> I have to use a lot. I have long ass hair. Yeah, I have long ass hair. <laughs> I have long ass hair now. It's like. It's right there. Now you can see it. I don't think you were understanding what I'm saying. Are you being gross with me right now? <laughs> <laughs> My God! And it Smoke. took you this long to get it. Yeah, you get, you got Family run. friendly content. Fuck you, little kid. They can watch something else. They can watch <laughs> Barney the fucking queer ass dinosaur somewhere else. Because I'm not fucking <laughs> Barney. <laughs> you are definitely not fucking Barney, that's for sure. Your fiance is much prettier. Yeah, I'd rather fuck my fiance than Barney the queer ass dinosaur. <laughs> Yeah, what are you fucking? I'm fucking a dinosaur! What was, oh, that was been <laughs> on my bucket list from day one. Ever since I came out of the womb. Out of the womb? <laughs> out of the womb. Five years later, and I still like it. <laughs> oh. I'll give you, I'll tell you something about me. A little bit more about my, myself. I would appreciate that. Okay. My last name is pronounced.
pronounce Gilliland, and it's Scottish, just straight Scottish. I'm half blooded Scottish and American. Gilliland. 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 Okay. Yeah. So I have been pronouncing it right in my head. Yeah. Because if you say it like a Scotsman, my name is Matthew Thomas Gilliland. How are you doing? <laughs> That's actually a very good accent. <laughs> Great. Oh, well, bye. Yeah, I have the accent. I was born with the accent. Well, half. I'm a halfling. <laughs> You're a halfling. <laughs> yes, I'm a halfling. Ronald Weasley. It's Larry <laughs> Swan. They're called mudbloods. I was thinking of Lord of the Rings. <laughs> oh, my God. That got me thinking. Fucking Smeagol. The half-ass naked dude. <laughs> I thought to myself, what happens if I ran around half-ass naked like that? They stole the precious. The precious. <laughs> Smeagol. Smeagol. <laughs> so you're very open with your life, aren't you, then? Yes, Like, to everybody. Yes. Okay. I don't, That's I don't, good. I'm not one of those. It's like, that's not your best. What do you yeah. I don't all? want to answer that. That information's confidential. <laughs> Act like the CIA. What's your daily life like? That's confidential. Well, I warm up. I wake up. I spend 20 minutes in bed, loathing my life. And then I spend another 20 minutes debating on if I actually need to wake up. I'll look out <laughs> over the clock and then realize it's six hours off and I still need to change it. Then I'll decide to get up and take a crap. Not on the floor, even though I think about that often. I'll usually do it in the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> I often think about shooting at my hand and throwing it like a fucking monkey. <laughs> Just like 20 minute <laughs> notches of your daily life for the CIA. <laughs> I'm thinking about like one day just waking up and narrating the shit out of everything. Just do Hold it. On. Doorbell. Beyonce was spamming my doorbell. She was locked out. <laughs> yeah. I forgot my paperwork. Why'd you forget it? Because I'm a human being. I forget everything. I I, I tell her I have a memory of a crow. And she... <laughs> she has not called me out on my BS yet. You have the memory of a crow? Uh-huh. I'm already calling bullshit. Do why? Do you okay? Do you remember when I made a joke about having long ass hair? <laughs> oh yes. You're all oh god. You're natural. You're all natural. Too natural. <laughs> yeah, very, very hairy. <laughs> <laughs> So, will you be opening a P.O. box or anything like that for, you know, fan mails and stuff? Oh, I've been, I've been like, waiting for people to, like, comment and shit, because I'm like, anybody comment? No, they didn't, I, they didn't comment. Wait, wait, I'm, I'm going to be, like, one of the, that's why I opened up, like, several pages on Facebook. One of them was Guild Land Games, which that is shut down. That channel is shut down. But I'm bringing my uh, hair on my nose. That wasn't me. God damn, it's fucking Greg, <laughs> man. <laughs> but uh, I'm thinking about bringing in like my regular videos onto that. And then I have Matthew Gilliland's channel, which is linked from YouTube to uh, that page on Facebook. Then I have Matt's music, which has my songs on there and then there's mm -hmm. like the creative eye which has 
my edited photos. If you wanted to interact more with your um, your followers and fans and stuff, don't you think it might be a good idea to start, you know, leaving a question at the end of the video? Yeah. And sometimes I'm having a hard time figuring out YouTube. I've been on here for 10 years and some things are new. I'm like, oh my God, I did not know that existed. What the fuck is that? Oh my God, it just made it a lot better. <laughs> well, I have a... A folder like just chock full of you know guides and stuff that I'd be willing to share with you that I found over the years because I thought about getting into YouTube myself but I just never really decided to commit to it so it's actually very very impressive to me that you're able to do it and you know incorporate that into your lifestyle and stuff oh yeah I've also been trying to find people that are I've opened up like oh fuck patreon have you heard of that Mm -hmm. I've, I have an account on that that's linked through I also have a uh, you already know my fucking PayPal <laughs> yeah I have my PayPal account just in case fans want to donate I don't care if it's just a dollar mm -hmm. because it, it goes towards anything Merchandise. So all the links to this stuff is going to be in the description too, right? Oh, it, yeah. It. Wait. I think it's in on my. Whenever you go to my profile on YouTube and you hit about, you'll see like Instagram, Facebook, of course YouTube, my fiance's mm -hmm. YouTube channel, and then there's like my PayPal and Patreon account. Mm-hmm. That's good. A nice, easy place to store it. <laughs> right. Nice, easy place to store things and just leave it alone. <laughs> Let other people deal with it. Yeah, that's no longer your problem anymore. Yeah, I just did all the hard work. Somebody else can, you know. <laughs> and... Somebody can handle this for ten minutes. I'm going to go take a nap. <laughs> I'm going to take a nap and just snore... <laughs> is that please tell me that's not your sleeping face no <laughs> is Mine's... that your o face <laughs> you want to see my derp my derp face please <laughs> it goes in like <laughs> hey, what the fuck? <laughs> very impressive i and uh i don't think you you should know is I've always wanted to get into acting, but because I've been acting since I was little, mm -hmm. uh, that's why I'm good at doing voice impressions and whatnot. And whenever I brought it to school with me, I got in some fucking trouble. <laughs> <laughs> like I got an ISS, OSS, you name it, I got it. Bad. <laughs> I grew up with five sisters and two brothers. Five sisters, Jesus. Yeah, and two brothers. In my head, I thought, Mom and Dad really got it the fuck on that night. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it takes more than one night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're gonna have another child. So where are you in that? Are you like the middle or the oldest, youngest? Third to youngest. Third youngest. Yeah, third to youngest. Yep. Because there's, I have two sisters that are under me. I'm the youngest boy. Mhm. Mm but uh, out of that whole fucking line. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of us. Jeez. Just a whole litter of you. The whole like litter. puppies. Oh my God. <laughs> I tend to act like a puppy sometimes. Just a little litter of puppy Gillilins. <laughs> See, you already got it down, Pat. And my dad. <laughs> Is 
So what's got you so entertained? What's got me so entertained? This is how I normally am. Normally am on <laughs> random days. Like, oh wait, almost constantly. You'll never, ever catch me on a day where I'm just like... <laughs> this is so boring. <laughs> yeah, do you want to know why I chose to help you? Mm -hmm. On your gift? Mm -hmm. Because... In my, what I believe, is that there's not enough kindness in this world. And people have been heartless to one another. And it's like humanity's lost, has lost their way. What happened to the days of being generous to one another? And so I'm like, okay. Because you told me what had happened, which I'm not going to share right now, because that is mm -hmm. your business. Mm -hmm. I and appreciate I, that. You're welcome. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to help you. I know I, I, I was going to tell you if you were going to fight, I was going to be like, uh, I don't care. I'm still going to help you. Because I <sighs> want people to have that hope that there is still hope in humanity. That it's not all dead. Mm -hmm. That's really sweet of you. Thank you. <laughs> you are honestly like the most kindest gentleman I've ever met. Ever. You can thank my dad for that one. Because without his <laughs> guidance, I'd be a total asshole. I can see it. <laughs> <laughs> like he would like knock me into place like if I stand if he took me to school one day I was mm -hmm. in high school and I walk in I'm like what the fuck is that me I just got this oh why the hell oh why stop swearing you're in public and now you're just a potty mouth yep shit fuck motherfucking <laughs> I, oh shit I'm not under your roof dad I'm not underneath your roof old man <laughs> Now, my mom is crazy. She's like batshit crazy. She has not been a part of my life. Growing up, it's always been my dad. So I grew up without my mom. And then mm -hmm. I call that Thank you, baby. Oh, I'm sorry. It's all good. <laughs> I tend not to uh, think about it. I'm better off. I think there is a reason why that happened because I think I'd be better off. Mm -hmm. without it that's a good way of looking at it actually yeah. I'm sure a lot of people can take that to heart and there is in my head I always tell myself and I'm gonna say it right now there is no dream too big or too small to chase it takes dedication and loyalty and falling on your face and getting back up <laughs> and keep going. You're going to have your days where you fail, but you just got to have the proper support to get back up. <laughs> so this probably seems like a really good point to end off, actually. Is there anything you would say to your fans that could really use some advice right now? say it like this I am not too far I am always near if you have a question leave it down below or just you can find me on Facebook mm -hmm. I'm a problem solver I'm attracted to problems because if anybody has a problem I go to them and try to fix it and try to help them out of it out of the predicament that they're in by pushing my problems aside because mine are easy to knock down. And I'm always listening and waiting. <laughs> You're such a sweet guy. Thank you. I'm so excited for you to just blow up.
Literally and figuratively. I'm excited for that. Body parts flying everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> That's morbid, but I find that funny. Right in that closet. <laughs> oh, look. Oh, oh, there goes his head. Where's Matt? Oh, he's in the closet. Oh, shit. There goes his head flying down the, you know, hallway. Oh, I'm gonna put that back in there. Can't <laughs> think without that. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Damn it. I'm, I I'm honestly wasn't expecting you to laugh at that. <laughs> I'm so glad that we had this interview. I'm glad we did too. I feel like I learned a lot about you. I that, mean, you know, I wouldn't have learned otherwise. Right. And now you got to see me over camera. Instead of like over YouTube, you guys actually got to talk to me. Mm-hmm. Now, let me ask you this. How does that make you feel? I actually feel very important to you now. You know, I'm not just this person on a screen anymore. I feel like, you know, we're actually close now. Yeah, that's how I, that's how I will treat everybody. Hehehe. <laughs> And I will, and, uh, pay attention to your PayPal, because there's going to be something coming your way. I will, and I appreciate that. Oh, no problem. And to my other pe to the people that are watching this, before I sign out, or sign off here, stay positive. Don't let others drag you down. I love you all very much. I'll see you guys in the next video. Or in the next interview, because this is the first one. If you always, if you want to interview me, leave me a comment down below. I will be willing to do any kind of interview, except if it's just downright dirty. This was downright dirty. Do you <laughs> want me to get into the nitty gritty? <laughs> Tampons, horseshoes, water, condom balloons. <laughs> condom balloons. <laughs> All right. I'll let you go now. I hope you have a wonderful day, and thank you for letting me interview you. This is actually, you know, incredible, honestly. I'm glad you enjoyed it. And I, I had a great amount of fun. <laughs> if you ever want another one, or if you just want to talk off camera or on camera, let me know, because I am very, very into just talking. Mm -hmm. Of course. I will definitely get in touch with you again. All right. <laughs> Did you stop recording too? Yes, I had to. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's what I did too. I just ended recording. I'm like, oh shit. So you actually have the video and stuff. So maybe I should just send my part of the interview to you. Yes. Okay. Let me just save that. Oh, balls, this is going to take a while for it to stop. Holy shit. Almost an hour. Yep, that's one hell of an interview. Yeah. Like, very hellish. Oh, come on, you know it was fun. Oh, yeah, loved it. For real, <laughs> I did. I was, I was looking forward to this day. I was like, this is going to be boss. I'm honestly sorry it took me so long. There was just so much that got in the way, and then I, I had a lapse in my depression, and it was just. Whenever you have a lapse in your depression, talk to me, because that's what I'm here for. I know it's just hard. I just feel like I get in the way. No. And I know I don't. I know I don't. It just it makes it difficult. I'm just gonna. Do you have um? The fuck is it? 
the fuck is it? Winrar? Yes, I do. Okay, because I gotta compress this so that I can send it to you because the file's too big. Okay. I also back everything up on USBs and hard drives and stuff for six or seven months. So if, you know, you end up getting a problem with the video, you know, during uploading or the files are corrupted or anything like that, just let me know when I have a copy of stuff. Alrighty. And, uh, I've been honestly wanting you to be on my team for the longest time. I honestly don't know. You honestly don't know? What are you not sure of? I don't feel like I would be an effective team member. I feel like you would. To be honest, I'd rather have somebody that I can trust than people I know that I that I've known for years and not trust because you I can trust you with anything and I have fr friends that I went to school with from being 